there's not one presidential candidate that has or any comprehension of artificial intelligence and the role it's going to play in our military, our world wars, in education, or the economy literally over the next four or five years. They don't even, they can't even fix their smartphone and troubleshoot it. They have no clue about cybersecurity and they have no clue about artificial intelligence. And that should be the main discussion and conversation in this presidential race. And, and really talking about artificial intelligence is changing everything. Everything. You know, everything. The way I realized that I'm able to code, write code, I write plugins. You know, I used to pay hundreds of dollars to people in India and different places, and yes. I can do it now just by. Uh, how, how do you uh, do you believe there is a threat to humanity? Or, uh, yeah, so what, I, what I, do you think of AI? I called for a cybersecurity, which is where it started for me. Data security was what I did in the corporate world a lot, and then going into technology and hardware, software, software as a service. Uh, but it started for me in data security. And so I wanted a cybersecurity committee and panel uh, to have uh, established baselines for the United States because the Veterans Administration, uh, uh, several others, uh, government is the biggest, uh, most vulnerable network and they were the ones having the biggest data breaches, <laughs> not the corporations. I mean, they were having, Bank of America, others were having data breaches, but it was our military, the veterans. I mean, don't you think our nation state enemies would like to know who was over there fighting against them and then they could target? Well, they did, they, they got our data, they got of, of the veterans. Um, and so we, ha we had started with cybersecurity. That goes into and then artificial intelligence. The difference between artificial intelligence and the internet, the internet, kind of took off and then we tried to layer cybersecurity on top of it which it never works because the uh, of, of the nature of it the, the cybersecurity has to be the foundation so that's whenever we started doing artificial intelligence we can't make the same mistake with AI AGI artificial general intelligence which we're trying to get to with quantum computing and so forth uh, until you have the baseline of cybersecurity it will change we have to proactively have uh, uh, panels on artificial intelligence at the federal level. I was having a, a, a meeting a couple of years ago with the head of artificial intelligence for the Pentagon and I just could not believe my ears. I had just gotten back from a foreign country where I was discussing things with their military uh, and national security matters and uh, you know this the person I was having these conversations with was more interested in getting to happy hour and uh, than it was really solving some problems and I thought our enemies are working 24 hours a day to defeat us and you're worried about meeting some people and, and worried about your three-week vacation you don't understand the world we are living in right now and so I firmly believe that artificial intelligence artificial general intelligence is uh, artificial intelligence is great for the healthcare it is great for um, a lot of business use cases makes it more efficient but the contrary side to that is it will be used for nefarious purposes especially uh, AGI China Russia North Korea they are all advanced we are within weeks right now in terms of of uh, the competitiveness of where we are we are within weeks of each other that is very scary because it is a it could be a spe species ending event however it will not be because of we're, we're already told of kind of what the end looks like uh, and that's not it but it will be disaster it can be disastrous but we should keep it the chat GPT and we should use it for now we should we should oh of course I, I mean, mean look, some, some people legal, are saying, people are using it for, for serve as their own attorney they're getting great legal advice and how to do things and how uh, so it's it's helping in a lot of ways but that's the proper uses of artificial intelligence you know there's great ways to use the internet there's bad ways of using the internet all technology is going to have that uh, yin yang to it in the opposites uh, but I'll, I, I just I go back to artificial general intelligence is something that we will not be able to contain at some point that's why Putin said several years in 2017 he said uh, and he's right I, I, we should have had American leaders saying it first but whoever is the first to reach AGI will rule the world if you did nothing else but focus on artificial general intelligence because here's the thing if you're if you're Russia and and I'm America and uh, we lob a bomb over to you, it's going to be a smart missile, uh, and you've got AGI. 
when it gets a certain space, it's hacking in and already redirecting it, sending it back to its point of origin. 